What's up? What's up? What's up, my chosen ones? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. We are getting ready to get into the spiritually foundational reading to see what beloved would like his chosen ones to know at this time. Since we are not a part of the collective energy, but the selected few. Let's see what's the message Beloved has for us. Beloved, what's going on? What's the message you have for the Chosen Ones, please? What's the message you have for the Chosen Ones? Wow. So fragments. Balance will be restored. Is that why I just said what I said regarding the Chosen Ones and the Collective? Because part of who we are is wrapped up in the collective energy but we are not the collective we are the chosen ones out of the collective energy so our intuitions our calling our especially our starts in life let me tell you how to know if you are truly a chosen one your start in life was very traumatic right because you had to be repaired be prepared to not have crutches along this journey that God has for you. Like in order for you to stand up and create change or be a change maker in this environment, in this time, such as now, you had to go through some really difficult times to get to where you are today. And yes, parts and pieces of you, you may feel like are missing or you left parts of your heart here or that betrayal took a little piece of you or whatever happened. You know, every little thing you went through took a part of you. But beloved is saying balance will be restored back into you. And your intuition is on fire right now. Okay, like literally on fire. Like trust your intuition because that is where God is speaking to you through. Okay. Third eye vision, reclaiming your mind. See, one thing that I'm getting already is like there's a trend of things being left behind, things being stolen from you, um, ideas. You know, with this idea thing, you were under spiritual attack for things that were going on in your mind, um, dreams and visions that God had given you through your third eye, your bird's eye view that were stolen in the spiritual realm. See, we we all walk around in our human bodies, but our spirits are all different. Our souls are all different. Our souls have as many different um, makings as our fingerprints do, right? So, you know, when we consider the soul level and how people are so intricately um, created differently, there are spiritual vampires to say the least that come and steal energy ideas and oh we're going there and place ideas that's not of god in your head what's the idea that's not of god in your head okay well let's sit here and watch porn tonight um that's not that's not an idea for the um that god will place in your head space okay Ground your light. Let your soul shine. You shine, beloved. But with this ground your light energy, let your soul shine. You've been hiding because you're afraid of being found out. Like, oh, if I'm different or if I stand out from the crowd, then that's going to create some type of ruckus. Or if I do this, then someone's going to find out who I am. You know what? The chosen ones are meant to be like these change makers. Stop like dimming your light so that that other people won't feel insecure around you. Let your light shine so that others may be inspired by you inspired by just being in your presence just being in your energy allow your soul to shine okay so i'm drawn to these cards let's go ahead jump into the tarot and clarify these energies with the soul fragment and what's interesting i swear beloved is so good i love god because when i was waiting for these cards even before i kind of kind of remember they were coming i was looking at pictures like this 
And I was looking at, okay, what sand can I put on a picture like this or what? And it was interesting because when my cards came, I was like, oh, I forgot. I had or so these cards resonated with me in the present moment, even though they have been there the whole time and never resonated with my spirit. So this is interesting. The journey, right? Like things that we didn't find interesting before are suddenly interested in, right? But let's see here. Beloved, what's up with the soul fragments? One more. Thank you. Ooh, no. See what I mean? These are the energies that come and steal from you. When you are inspecting it with the small energy, this is the hidden energy in the spiritual realm. You are coming out as the high priestess, the chosen ones, right? The HP. If you guys ever wonder what the HP means, that's what it means, high priestess, right? But um, you stand out from the crowd. You're a high priestess, but you don't need to let it be known because your light shines, right? You are taught from the most high God, right? God has been your teacher, your motivator, your mentor, your nurse, your doctor, your, your lawyer, your judge. Like whatever profession you could name, God has been it for you. God has been teaching you this. And also what's crazy is this is a divine couple, right? And I'm wondering, soul fragments, if, if, if you have a divine partner that is meant to join you along this journey. Because if you're the high priestess and you're being taught by the hierophant, this may be why you and your person are in separation. Because this person needs to be able to lead and guide, right? If they're going to be your mentor or someone that's in alignment with you. Okay? Different gifts, same, same chosen family, right? chosen ones you guys might have um star seed children that's stuck in the spiritual realm queen of pentacles ten of cups so not only that you're meant to be very prosperous and bring a lot of joy and happiness to this world to people i see i see like you're meant to be like some type of 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 teacher, some type of mentor, some type of spiritual leader, especially with the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess combined. It's like you're meant to be something um, that's like a motherly energy in the community or a nurturing energy in the community. Like you are meant to like nurture and grow. Maybe you, you own a garden. Maybe you help kids or you know you mentor you know felons in the community or you mentor prison prisoners or maybe you're a prison guard or something like that but you're meant to do some type of work within the community and not only that you have this person i feel like you have a divine partner that you are meant to go along this path with that's supposed to meet you along this path if you haven't met this person yet, you will meet this person. Maybe it's not the time because they got work to do and they're teaching and you have work to do and you're nurturing. But somehow you guys are going to make a perfect couple in the spiritual realm and in the 3D. Because you guys are going to be an energetic match. Very rarely do you get matching counterparts like the King of Cups and Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So for the high priestess and the hair fund to come out back to back, I can't ignore the fact that this is a spiritual couple. And the high priestess needs to be with the hair fin, right? Hair fin is the leader of the church organization. The emperor is the leader of the uh, um, uh, military, right? So for her, if the high priestess was doing an emperor, that would be an imbalance, right? But because the high priestess is sitting next to the hair fund, that's a perfect balance. Of spiritual harmony right there so there is someone out there for you okay I'm not sure if this is a um but let's ask well, let's ask that question I don't know how people have gotten these cards to really behave but it's been months and I can't get those cards to behave in my hand so I don't know but um beloved has the has the chosen ones already met 
their divine counterpart? Have they already met their divine counterpart, please? Have they already met their divine counterpart? Too many cards to love it. Have they already met their divine counterpart? You know what? I don't think so. Seven of Swords, Chariot, the Nine of Wands, and the Knight of um the Knight of Wands. Like this person may have came in like they were your divine counterpart, but they weren't. Because they wouldn't have been in and out, in and out, in and out. Let me see here. Why is this Knight of Wands here? And plus the knight is such a young energy. The two of swords. Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting because I feel like something like this person was supposed to come in and teach you a lesson or help you in some type of way so that you you um that you would ascend spiritually. So that you can have this Ten of Pentacles. I just don't know if this this is the person you're supposed to have it with. Is this the person you're supposed to have this Ten of Pentacles with? This uh, Knight of Wands? No, there's someone else coming. A King of Swords energy. Okay. Someone more wise and knowledgeable. So I don't think that's the person. Especially with that Page of Swords energy. Yeah, you're going to leave that person behind. The person you with now is not the person. Okay. Why is third eye vision here? Reclaim your mind. Wow. That's what they all did to the collective. They got y'all messed up. I'm sorry, the chosen ones. They got y'all messed up. Look at this. Reclaim your mind. Definitely reclaim your mind. What is that? That's like what Jesus had on his head. Um... When he went to the cross, remember they put a, 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 a thorn of a crown of thorns on his head and was mocking him and stuff. They don't put a deer um, on top of your head with lights, like a, de a deer with um, um, blinded by headlights or something. That's why your third eye vision is messed up. Too much on your mind, too much on your plate. Too look, you're you're aging fast, okay? Stressing out. With the things that people are doing to you, the things that's hitting you in life out of nowhere, bills and all kind of stuff. Stop thinking so much, collective. Quiet your mind. Meditate. Meditate. Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles. And the um King of Pentacles. It's this person that you need to claim, reclaim your mind from. Who is this King of Pentacles energy that got you all in a bundle? This King of Pentacles energy, like I said, they could have been the one for you, especially since they're coming up as a King of Pentacles and it's a Queen of Pentacles over here. But I feel like this person is very childish and they need to grow up into this um, Page of Pentacles. That's why they've been weighing you down, okay? Because they envision you being like their queen or whatever or their king or whatever. But they so childish and immature. They stresses you out with their childish behavior. Before I say that, tell me about this king of pentacles. They got too much going on. This is exactly why this is not your person. So I got the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the um, Empress, and the Ace of um, Wands. That's just doing too much already. Why are there, there are two court cards, a Ten of Pentacles, and an Ace of Wands? This person had too much going on, and this is why you're in this Ten of Wands energy, because you already knew it. This is exactly why this person is not your divine counterpart. 
I kind of wanted to keep these out, but I'm going to put them back in the deck. Because I made my point with it. They got too much going on. And with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, they might be married. And that might be what got you in that Ten of um, Wands energy. What else does the Chosen Ones need to know, please? What else? With this ground, your light. Justice. The Two of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. And the Two of Cups. Ground your light, let your soul shine. You know what? You have got a lot of power that you're not utilizing. I don't know why. It seems like because there's a focus on this connection that you had with this person. This person that you thought was your divine counterpart. But they have way too much going on in their energy, right? And that's what you keep thinking about. Like, this power that a Beloved has given you, like, in both the physical and the 5D, or in the physical and spiritual, or the 3D and the 5D, like, you have a lot of power. You're, you're a master magician. You're able to manifest things into reality. But like I said, there's too much going on with this, this connection that has you thrown off. Okay, this connection is what's keeping you from your highest level of consciousness for whatever reason. Okay, what is it about this connection, beloved, that the collective need to know? What is it about this connection? I'm telling you, too much thinking about this connection. Too much. Why are these two people in the house and they're not outside? doing things when we got all these cards in the deck where they could be outside i'm not saying you want to be in the five of pentacles energy but there's a lot of cards where they could be outside so this is a lot of internal thinking that's being blocked like blocking blessings from coming in too much thinking okay if you're not like if he was in the three of wands energy and the ships was coming in he'd be good but he got his back turned to it okay too much thinking okay thinking about this person Way too much. Tell me about this high priestess in this hierophant, please. Tell me about this high priestess in this hierophant, please. Eight of Swords. Four of Swords. Seven of Cups. This is someone you're going to have to be patient with and manifest. Okay? This person's coming in at a later time. Not right now because you still got work to do to get out of this Eight of Swords for this other um, situation. This person's blocked from coming in right now because you're holding on to the situation. When you stop holding on to that situation, the Ace of Pentacles show up, which means this person will show up. Yep. And you guys are being your divine power together. This not Clarify the Seven of Cups for me, please. One seven of swords. Yep. Yep, you're gonna have to um be honest with yourself. Like that past person got you stuck in some type of way. It's blocking another connection from coming in. I don't know why this is the energy. I didn't expect this type of reading. I really expected something really, really spiritual, but it just turned so you got a spiritual connection coming in, but you're not ready for it. Too much too much being in your head about a past person. When a beloved has the best for you. I'm sorry if the, uh, the, the chosen ones are high priestess. And beloved is trying to bring you a hair fin in. Why would you settle for a king of pentacles? I'm just saying like king of pentacles cool and everything. But they're... This person is very spiritual. This person, this person is very 5D. This person is very 3D. Okay. If anything, if any, if any sign, let's say you didn't have a, a hair fin coming in. If any sign you would want to see come in would be a King of Cups, because at least the King of Cups is intuitive, right? But a King of Pentacles is just totally different. Is there anything else I want to um, 
clarify. Let's clarify these two pinnacles over here. Tell me about these two pinnacles. Or tell me about these two pinnacles. Why does this Eight of Swords keep coming out? You know why? 3D, 5D. Too much thinking in 3D, right? 5D energy, where you would grab the truth from. Like, this is this is your problem. Okay? This in the in the um physical realm, this is your problem. This eight of swords energy. You overthink things too much. Stop thinking so much about what if and you know, is this gonna happen? I'm hearing a lot of fear is surrounding this eight of swords. Get out of your energy, ground your light, okay? Reclaim your mind and balance will be restored. It's coming. Okay? It's coming when you least suspect it though, but this person is what got you held up. I'm trying to see if there are anything goes. Nope. Let's go ahead and go to the Archangel Michael messages for the chosen ones. Beloved, what's going on? What message do you have from Archangel Michael to your chosen ones, please? Close out this reading. May I get two messages, please? Hmm. You have... For your options. And the prayer is, Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life purpose. Beloved wants you to explore your other options. I don't know why I just got one monkey don't stop the show. That was harsh. But that's how I got it. Okay. Let's see. And your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. And it says for the prayer, please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. You know, your intuition is on, on point, but somehow you still need help because for there to be a prayer associated with this, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. It's like beloved talks, but are you listening? Beloved answers the prayers, but do you see? Are you paying attention? Like, ego is the biggest fear barrier there is because ego is associated with pride pride is associated with a facade a facade is associated with fear so this keeping the ego out of the way so you can so your wisdom can come streaming through so god's wisdom can come streaming through yeah somebody needs to let go and let god take the will let jesus take the will okay but either way, beloved, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.